intro I created for you guys and my very, very awkward dance moves. Well, good morning, you guys. Welcome back to yet a another video. Since I have a lot of free downtime to myself now and a lot of time to just kind of get creative, sort of, not really, because a lot of people have already done this, but, you know, create like the little, this is how my morning goes, this is how I brush my teeth, this is how I awkwardly dance to music by Zendaya in the morning. I was just feeling super quirky the second I woke up, like literally, I was in bed for maybe five minutes, woke up, grabbed my camera, and just started filming, and I was like, we're just gonna go with it. But pretty much what you guys saw is exactly how my morning goes. I do what any other regular person would do. So yeah, it's not like I'm gonna do stuff like that every single video, but I was feeling creative, and now that I have like literally an entire space to myself, the kitchen, the bathroom, the living room, the bedroom, everything is all mine, I just have a little bit more free space to not really worry about being too noisy and just have a little bit more fun. But just to quickly tell you guys, yes, I do weigh 114.8. I was under eating massively the last couple of days, as I told you guys. So I asked Omar if I could just kind of treat yesterday like a refeed and kind of not track anything and just eat because I was super under on my calories and he's like, please, like, let's get your gym performance back up and stuff because training was feeling not the greatest. So yesterday I ate pretty much anything and everything and it was good to see that I only went up by one pound. I was 113.8 prior, woke up at 114.8 and yeah, look guys, I have no makeup on. I feel like you guys are always like oh like why do you always get ready for your videos why can't you just not have makeup on and the truth is that I normally just don't start vlogging until like 1 p.m. I don't start my days off vlog because generally I'm not a morning person whatsoever so the fact that I woke up in a good mood I'm like all right let's do this and they'll finally see me without makeup this is my face this is my face without makeup I really don't care honestly half the time I'm not wearing makeup and this is as good as it's gonna get, so. So that is it, you guys. I just wanted to quickly say hello, good morning. I'm gonna eat my food, and then I'm gonna head over to Barbell Brigade, because I have deadlifts today. I almost just knocked over my food with my elbow. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and let's get to it. Oh snap, look what came in the mail. Well, you can't even read that, but it's EHP Lab, so I'm gonna open it. I literally forgot <clears throat> all of my EHP Lab products back home when, oh God, I just had Clayton send me a voucher. That way I could just order all of my favorite stuff. So you guys actually always ask what my favorite EHP Labs products are, and I pretty much always say it, but I will quickly do it here. Mocha protein, the best thing ever. Katia actually got me to start drinking this over ice. Yes, this tastes like a mocha frappuccino. Put this over some ice, I'll probably have this before I go to the gym it is absolutely incredible it almost makes you feel like you're drinking coffee but instead you're drinking protein so I love that and then I love the strawberry milkshake you guys know I talk this up like no other and then my two favorite flavors of the BCAAs is the kiwi strawberry hands down this is their most popular flavor too and strawberry daiquiri is absolutely incredible and then I ordered one tub of the oxy shred in kiwi strawberry I usually like to take that before I do cardio and I take like a scoop in the morning too just to get my day started. So I also have acetyl L-carnitine. I'm getting all jumbled on my words. And I just mix this with the new pre-workout non-stim version PSI because right now I'm trying to avoid like extreme doses of caffeine and there you have it, my EHP lab stack. So if you guys have any questions about the products, you guys can just leave it in a comment below. I'll answer it. My discount code and all that stuff is always linked in the description. That is uh, all of my go-to EHP products. All right, I am getting ready to head to the gym. And as for my outfit, I'm actually really digging it today. I have on my Gymshark long sleeve, which you guys are probably gonna see me wearing all the time. And then I have on some Nike leggings that I really like. I like the back of them because it has like this little like design stuff down there. And I took my PSI EHP Labs non-stim pre-workout with the acetyl L-carnitine and I'm feeling myself. Hopefully today is a good workout as opposed to the last few workouts I've had. Heading to Barbell Brigade. I'm excited. I'll see you guys there. So you know how I've been saying like I don't have any friends and all that stuff. It turns out I actually have friends. I actually have friends. Don't put out in public that I'm your friend.
finished my training session at Barbell Brigade and I think it's really silly that I was like, oh, I'm just gonna train at my apartment gym all the time. Don't get me wrong, my apartment gym is incredible, but there is something about the atmosphere at Barbell that makes people wanna go back and I realized that once I went today. Even though I was straight, like part of it I was with David and Kim and David's brother and then the last half I was by myself. It's just a reminder of why I need to train there more because I just leave there in such a good mood and yes, finally had a good training session. Yes, finally switched from sumo deadlift to conventional deadlift. I'll be doing sumo. I just, it's not clicking for me. But anyway, I just realized I have not had any carbs today. Like, I made that beautiful breakfast not really thinking that there wasn't any carbs. So it is uh, 4.30, and I've only had 7 grams of carbs today. So I'm about to carb up, but I'm trying to decide if I want to be good and go home and make something, or if I want to be bad and go to Waba Grill because Joe at Barbo was eating teriyaki chicken, and it looked really good, and it's really macro-friendly. So I guess I'm just gonna have to go to Wabba Girl. So, <laughs> decision's been made. I'm gonna go there, get my food, and then head home. That way I can eat. I'm not far from Barbell, but hopefully there's like not traffic. Who am I kidding? There's always traffic. Oh my God. Look at how beautiful this is. I think the macros for this, well, it would be 13 fat, but with the avocado, it's probably more like 20 fat, and then like 80 carb, and 45 protein. And as usual, new girl. So I'm just gonna enjoy this food really fast before I film a quick Q&A, so I'll see you guys soon. All right, so this is pretty much going to conclude the video, but I wanted to end this video by doing a bit of a Q&A. A lot of you guys have had tons of questions about what it's been like for me to basically pick up and leave home and move to LA, and and just kind of how I did it and stuff. So I figured over the course of the next few videos, I would answer a lot of your guys' questions. I put a post up on Instagram, right here, and I told you guys to just ask me any questions you might have regarding that topic. So like I said, I will answer maybe five to 10 today, and then I will answer more periodically throughout the rest of the vlogs, and hopefully it can be means to inspire you guys or make you feel a little bit more confident about picking up and leaving home. Ivan Cholula asked, how difficult is it adapting to new surroundings and what motivated you to make the move? I mean, honestly, I've been to LA numerous times. I come out here all the time for work and travel and for fun. And so it's not like it's been a super duper scary experience for me. If anything, it has been hard being away from my friends and family because it's my friends and family. But even like when I went to Toronto for two to three weeks, it wasn't that bad. I think it just depends on the person. I'm a super outgoing and bubbly person. Like I can make friends shopping a store I could like become friends with a sales associate just like that I, that actually happened in Toronto so it's not really that hard for me to adapt to new surroundings I think it's all about just having an open mind and being willing and accepting of making new friends or becoming stronger friends with people that you once considered an acquaintance hopefully that answers your question oh and what motivated me to move so this has actually been a childhood dream of mine since I was like seven I remember jumping on my bed and Freaky Friday credits rolled on the screen and I was like, I'm gonna be an actress. I'm gonna live in LA one day. Like that was my absolute childhood dream and LA has pretty much been on the to-do list since I can remember. I think what motivated me was it just being a dream since forever and if I never did it, I would have pretty much died wondering why I never did it or what it would have been like. Issa Pizza Del Rey asked, how did you decide what city slash neighborhood to live in? And I think that this is a super important question when it comes to moving to Los Angeles because Los Angeles is massive. There are tons of different neighborhoods and like, 
you know, mini cities or whatever the hell you want to call them. And not all of them are the greatest. It took tons and tons of research because you have to decide, like, do you want to live up north in North Hollywood, Sherman Oaks, Studio City, stuff like that, where it's a little bit more laid back, a little bit more of like a residential family type of neighborhood, or do you want to be in downtown, in the center of everything, in the traffic, pretty much living that extreme city life, or do you want to be on the outskirts like Pasadena and Glendale, where again, you're getting more into that family vibe. So you'll figure out where you want to live based off of those mini descriptions. EJXPC asked, what was the biggest challenge from living with relatives to living on your own? And I am so emotional, I literally want to cry over that question. Definitely just waking up alone. It's comforting, it's nice to be away and like have my own space, but definitely the first night when Diamond and my aunt left and I woke up the next day, with no one here, I felt so, so sad and so alone, but it's getting better with each day. Okay, this is gonna be my last question and it is from Tris World and she said, how difficult is it to fight the feeling of being alone? And I have to be honest, and I'm happy that I'm ending it on this question, I was so, so afraid of being alone. As you guys know, I definitely have my bouts of anxiety and depression and you know all of these random stress disorders that basically everybody has in today's time and world and whatever but I was very nervous about it I thought it was going to spike my anxiety being alone I thought that I was gonna become extremely depressed and all this but you know I've been here now for like four or five days I already feel like I've been here for like two or three weeks and honestly it's humbling like being alone is a very humbling thing and I feel like I'm actually beginning to appreciate the time that I have alone and I like that because I used to be so reliant on having a friend nearby or family nearby or something so that I was not alone so that I didn't have time to just sit and think about like anything and everything that could potentially stress me out. I'm really surprised but I think because I've made this place perfectly like what I would want home to be like, it really makes me enjoy my time here. Like I wake up, I have my little routine, I have my TV shows that I like to watch and I never used to watch TV before, but I'm making time for like side entertainment. And it's also been nice to reconnect with friends that lived out here that I didn't necessarily talk to all the time because they lived really far away. And it's also very inspiring being alone in Los Angeles because you just watch all of these extremely successful people around you and you just wanna know how you can get to their level. And and my aunt and Diamond said the exact same thing. They were like, I don't want to leave. When I'm here, I feel inspired. That's pretty much how I've dealt with being alone is I've learned to love being alone. And it can sound like such a loner thing to say. Like at first I was like, man, it sucks to be like, oh, I'm lonely or like, oh, I'm alone. I'm not doing anything. But now as time goes on, I'm like, no, I'm alone and I love it. I'm cool with it. And I see my friends when I see them. We hang out like a couple times a week. That's all I need. It's perfect for me. So that is pretty much it for this. Q&A. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions and you don't have Instagram, feel free to comment them below regarding this type of topic and I will hopefully get your question answered in the next video. So that's it for today's vlog. Again, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to throw it a thumbs up and uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out.